At about 5 p.m. on July 1, 1863, Confederate Lieutenant General Richard Ewell would receive an order from General Robert E. Lee. Lee ordered his 2nd Corps commander to take Cemetery Hill, if practicable, but do not bring on a general engagement. Ewell began to assess the situation, preparing for an attack that would not commit the Confederate Army to fighting beyond that very day. The Union Army held the high ground, the remnants of some 10,000 soldiers and 40 pieces of artillery. Ewell had about 12,000 soldiers and perhaps 30 guns, but he did not have high ground for his cannon, and some of his infantry would need to be reorganized to make the attack. His two junior commanders thought the attack was possible, but only if they had reinforcements. Ewell would communicate this to General Lee, but the information from General Lee came back telling Ewell that Lee could provide no additional help. Ewell was on his own. Ewell then learned that his third division could not reach the battlefield in daylight, and he was shortly informed of rumors of Union soldiers approaching on his left flank. Without the benefit of Confederate cavalry to check on whether or not these rumors of Union approaches were true, Ewell had to dispatch some of his soldiers that might be used in a possible attack. As Ewell considered all of these complex variables and realized that he now had less than three hours of daylight, he would decide that it would not be practicable to attack Cemetery Hill without bringing on the kind of engagement that would engage the Confederate Army past July 1st. Under these circumstances, Ewell decided it was not practicable to attack Cemetery Hill. Have you faced a similar situation? Do you know of other leaders who have faced this situation? When given vague direction, without the benefit of complete information, how does a leader make an effective decision?